With a substantial history of performing, choreographing, and artistic direction, Alan Balfour formed Trinity Dance Theatre back in 2004. Alongside rehearsal director Terry Springer, a seasoned dancer and choreographer with 39 years of experience, Alan began to mount performances that aimed to reflect the depth and diversity of Trinidad's cultural landscape. started mounting pieces um, because I thought that after many years of touring with the company and that sort of thing, um, we hadn't really had a full-length dance season in Trinidad. So we started preparing since 2018 getting ready to 2019 and then uh, we had a good cadre of dancers, some of the you know most notable ones and young upcoming technical good, good ones and, and then COVID hit. The dance world, like many other sectors, faced unprecedented challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, Trinity Dance Theatre was determined to see their vision come to fruition. Alpha, their 2024 offering, featured an eclectic mix of performances. Alan noted that the company used pieces that speak to social issues, such as Silence, a collaborated piece by himself and Terry, which addressed human trafficking. Others included Sonido de Paria, an exploration of the cultural ties between Trinidad and Venezuela. There were a couple that were just using the style of Trinity, which is a fusion of contemporary and, and, and Caribbean and just m mainly entertaining and that sort of thing and then one was spiritual you know for me it's a very important thing mind body spirit spirit is most important to me witnessing the evolving landscape of male dancers in Trinidad Alan reflects on the days when male dancers faced significant stigma considered effeminate by societal standards however he believes that there has been a slow but noticeable shift in perception People are a little bit more embracing, you know, hip hop and other crossover type dances are coming into the fray. Terry's personal journey also echoes this narrative, having had to leave home due to familial disapproval of his dancing. Despite this, he found solace and identity in dance. My father was like, you can't be a dancer and stay in my house. You know, Trinidadian man. And I was like, what are my friends going to say? Because, you know, it's so effeminate and stuff like that. The scarcity of male dancers in Trinidad remains a pressing issue. Hence, Alan and Terry are committed to outreach and mentorship programs aimed at encouraging young males to embrace dance. Their goal? To dispel the remaining stigmas and to highlight dance as a viable career path that fosters discipline, creativity and global opportunities. For example, I started playing football and most of my friends I don't know where they are. They were liming on the block and I realized that hey, you know, there's something more than to just being, being a limer on the block. So when I started going to Caribbean School of Dancing, I realized that hey, you know, this could be an opportunity, it could be a career. As seen in one of the pieces, Ombros, which embodied the strength and support found in male presence, they point to the poignant commentary on the societal impact of fatherhood and male role models. The duo hopes to see a future where male dancers are not only accepted, but celebrated for their contributions to the arts. I am Gio Gomez, covering your creatives for TTT News.